So we've recently been working outside a lot on the pool, on the stable roof, and um, it's been quite hard work, it's quite depressing, it's been raining, uh, so we thought we'd show you a nice interior video. And this one is of what we call, very imaginatively, the pink room. Um, it used to be an old storeroom, uh, I think the previous owner had it as like a dressing room, which was quite nice. And this was our very first bedroom, we were sleeping on the floor, it was a bit grim, but yeah, I'm going to show you how this room has been transformed. So this is our this is our first bedroom when we first got the keys, and it was for like two three months. So it's quite nice to be able to do this while you've got your lift, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I've got to actually crack on with a project in the orangery. I'm trying to render one of the planters, so I'll probably have to leave you to your own devices on this. But what was oh, the yeah. plan, colour wise? Uh, this one is called Fitzrovia. It's like an off white kind of pastel pink colour, really subtle. Nice. Is that another Mylands paint? Of course, yeah, beautiful depth and colour. Um, and it should be really calming for quite a, it's not a small room is it, but it's one of our smaller ones. But what's so weird is it used to have kind of all of these giant wardrobes in. Oh yeah, um, huge, aren't they? Yeah, most of them came kind of all the way out and all the way around and she used it as a dressing room. So we ended up having to put our beds in front of the cupboards over there. Um, but now you've cut cut the, uh, the wardrobes out, it's amazing how big it looks. Yeah, and there's this random, what would you call it, I think it used to be like a window onto the corridor. Yeah, I think this was an office at some point, so mm, yeah, maybe... Who knows, but we need to cover it, so I'm thinking we can just find a big picture or a mirror to cover it, rather yeah, than having to plasterboard it. would be easier it. than yeah, taking the window out and plasterboarding it. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting cracking. And as you can see, we tried lots of different pasta colours, didn't we? <laughs> Which one's been through yet? The play that in this yeah, one. Well, really subtle. But then when the whole room's done, I think it would be really warm and inviting and cosy mm. and tranquil. And we're going to put curtains in here as well. Like we'll the curtains up, yeah. yeah. It'd be nice. Oh, I can't wait to have another room finished. I know, it's bedroom like, room three, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Better get cracking. Alright, I'll leave you to it. But okay. Give me a shout if you need a hand. We've been looking at this door and I'm um, toying with painting it pink as well or leaving it as it is because the blue goes quite nicely. The radiator is also blue and painting only it took me a lot of work and I haven't got a spray gun handy. So I think about leaving it. But the whole time I was painting this room I was thinking, oh, I, bet, I think like that bit there should also be pink so it looks like a bigger, bolder border. So I think I'm going to do it. I think it was like a, and then we'll see what the door looks like after this. Yeah. So I'm doing a second coat of paint because I can't really see because it's about quarter past ten at night. Because we don't really get much time to do painting. Um, but I don't think you'd need it to be honest if you could actually see what you were doing. But it's coming up really well, I'm very happy. It's got that beautiful sort of depth to it. Um, as it dries, I think it's going to look amazing. Yeah, what else are we planning? So there's the, um, 
what do you call it, some electrics for like an overhead light thing. So we need to get a big picture. Trying for to find, like you can get incredible bargains in Brocomps, but trying to find something to fit a specific size is quite yeah, challenging. Okay. So I have bought this picture on Lamy, which is actually a jewel burn from around the same era as the chateau. It's like a balloon and it kind of embodies dreaming and all that kind of nice stuff. And had this old picture I hated, so I'm trying to make it fit. I got it printed to size, but I might have got it just a little too small. So I'm just trying to line up the existing mount just to make it work. Then we're going to frame it and then we're going to put it there underneath this thing. This light with that light because the other two lights don't work. We got it from over a and I think it's just dodgy. And I feel this will be just a bit more cute, simple. And then the other thing, um, to hang those two pictures either side of that, but as you know, I hate hanging pictures so low because I like to be able to check the levels and check it symmetrical. So you need my help? Okay. I like this lamp. I just worry there's just not going to be enough light in here. I know we've got the, um, the picture yeah, the light that you've, that you've put up. And I guess we've got the bedside lights as well. But Yeah, this um, one's quite bright and it's all glass. Is it? Okay. Oh. Yeah, I sort of feel like once this room gets curtains, it will come alive. Mm. I'm still tempted to put in a uh, cornice as well. <laughs> no more cornice. <laughs> Okay. Maybe in due course. Maybe yeah. that could be next year or something. Let's just let it settle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll go and get my uh, spirit level. So we've been to Maison du Monde, uh, and they had a sale on, and we were able to get these amazing curtains half price, which I think will look fabulous in here. Um, curtains are a real challenge because. Obviously all the windows in chateaus are huge, so it's really hard to get off the shelf curtains and obviously made to measure is like super, super expensive. Um, so um, we did find these ones that are long enough, um, which is brilliant um, and half price too. So can't go wrong with that. It's a nice little job actually. 
You've done a really great job. I mean, so much in here that you've done was... I, I, I don't really know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> You're very busy doing things. Yeah, those things that I do. <laughs> Probably making these videos. I did sort of replaster the, the orangery planter, which was quite a big job in the end. Yeah. Um, I'll be able to uh, do another video on that at some point, but... Oh, it's, how do you feel? It looks great, doesn't it? Really look really good. It, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but this is like a really soft, dusty pink. And it's just so nice and calm. You can see it better when you compare it to the ceiling, which is a whiter colour, mm. to the pink below. But it's a really lovely colour. Gives it a real warmth. It does, yeah. It's a Myland paint. Um, so we've, yeah, we've used quite a few of those. And they're, they're really nice because they have this incredible sort of matte soft finish which is really really nice yeah and um this, there's a video which i'm sure will be in this overall video where you can see the coverage which is incredible actually just like i had my loads of tester pots over there do you remember on the wall oh yeah yeah and just one roller and they just went yeah, gone. gone which is incredible <laughs> but yeah so we've done so much in this room this is one of, this is probably my favorite piece because mm. we were trying to find a bit of artwork that wasn't too expensive that would fit this frame which we had already in this space um, and so we went for like dreaming kind of flying away kind of vibes with this jewels worm which is actually from the same era as the chateau as it happened it's, it's a nice frame that it was in actually isn't yeah it? it was a good frame it's yeah. just a picture and then we just varnished it made it look a bit older and then we got this beautiful light given to us as well from the lighting company because we already had some kind of electrics up there so it was nice to just Bring that down. So yeah, love that. I just love that. It kind of makes you go away to dreamland and mm. relax. Yeah. And that's opposite the bed, which is the incredible bed head. So we bought that in a brocon. Annoyingly, we lost the the main videos of your project actually reupholstering it. Um, but it wasn't then, that difficult, though. Yeah. To be honest. I mean, I guess it was kind of it's basically just like wrapping a present, isn't it? Yeah, with a lot of staples. <laughs> But it was a beautiful sort of, I think it was actually a bed before, not a bed head. Um, and it was covered in silk, but um, it got quite nastily stained. So Yeah, and I couldn't get the stains out. Mm. So we just went for a nice toile de joie. Toile really de joie, toile de joue. Toile de, toile de joue, yeah, de joie. Don't, don't know. So hold it to that <laughs> pronunciation, <laughs> fabric. Um, but the, again, it works really well with the pink. Yeah. So it's... Yeah, very, very nice. And then above the bed, we tried a few different things. We had three pictures in like a pyramid shape and we used a laser to get them right. Then we're like, oh, it's just not big enough as always with this place. Mm. And so we went for a tapestry, which my mum got, got, got us. And we were unsure of tapestries really in general, aren't we? I'd yeah. say, but, but it works really well in there. I think particularly what works again is there's quite a few shades of pink in there. So mm -hmm. it just, those work quite well with the, the sort of the pinks in the pink room. Yeah. Yeah, which brings us over to the other picture that we've got, which we had to make ourselves and has a bit of a funny story behind it. That was so weird. Yeah, when I was dismantling all the wardrobes, which were along that entire wall where the bed currently is, I got to like the corner one and I pulled it out. I was like, oh, that's weird. And basically it was a window that looked out onto the hallway, which looked out onto the orangery. <laughs> and I have no idea. I think it might have been an office one, one day. So, mm. And in the old days, the orange used to have a glass ceiling as well, so you'd have got a lot of light, you could have seen a lot through there, so it probably was like an office or something. Yeah, and then we thought, well, again, we couldn't afford or find a really big picture, so randomly there was some of this kind of like moulding or moulded wood on the back of the wardrobe. So yeah, so strange. Ripped that off, I turned it into a picture frame, and you found that really beautiful picture, got it printed in like a high definition Large finish. scale, yeah. Did you like age it again? Age that one again a bit as well, just some varnish and some special bits and pieces. Mm. Uh, put it in a frame, painted the frame gold. And there we go. Yeah, voila. Looks great. Covers the window. Yeah, and then what else? There was those bedside tables, which again, I think they look incredible because they were pretty... I wasn't sure about them when we bought no, them. No, they were only 15 euros each from a Bracon, and they were this horrible shiny brown wood. And I really could not be bothered to sand or strip again. So that's where chalk paint came in, furniture oh, paint. Yeah. And then I thought I'd add a... laziness. No, it was laziness. <laughs> Quick and easy. But then I decided to add a bit of this Fitzrovia paint to it. Mm, that was inspired, because it really just... It does it does really blend with the, the rest of the, the sort of colours in the room. Yeah. Bit of that over it, quite rough and ready, sanded it back a bit. And then a tiny bit of my new friend, which is called Goldfinger. Ah, I used that, did Pop you? Pop it on your finger, rub it yeah. into some of the details, rub it off again. And just makes it look old and 
Yeah, I think yeah, they look, they look cool. really nice. And yeah, and then we've got some lovely um, fabrics. So we've got this beautiful linen. Um, what's it called? Bed throw. Throw. That's, That's from throw. dusk, which is from one of dusk. our new favourite places. Yeah, and it's like a French style as well, so it works really well. And the curtains from Maison du Monde. So those are a really good find because we we found them in the sale, which is. Uh, it was so lucky because it's been really hard finding curtains the right size, hasn't it? It has, yeah, I like to get the length. But those were almost perfect length. The trouble was they had the ringlets, which I'm not really a fan of, because they kind of clank and rattle and blah, 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 and they don't really look very oldie-worldy. So we just folded them over, used these crocodile clips that are on a, a ring that glide over the rail. And that's it, and then they kind of gave them a new lease of life. I was thinking originally, oh, We'll do that as a temporary fix and then sort of um, re sew them in. But actually, if anything, I think the folding over looks better because it gives them some real volume at the top. So it makes them look even more luxurious than they are, which is. Yeah. Uh, but it, again, it just works really, really well. And then we've got some little pictures that we've got. And then this quite fun little thing, which is um, actually a toilet, um, believe it or not, or used to be. <laughs> they used to have like the little. Their little bowl. Or bedpan thing. Bedpan, that's it, yeah. Um, so yeah, it sort of has a little hole beneath the rattan. Um, it's quite a nice finish. Yeah, we gave it a good clean though, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got a beautiful Sarah Miller um, cushion on, which we love her designs and patterns. Again, with the matching pinks. So pinks good. in there. Yeah. Uh, and you're stood behind, in front of the now laundry cupboard. Yeah, so we're still using it as a, uh, a storeroom, even though it's got a lot, a lot less storage. Um, but there's loads of room in here, so um, managed to fit the linen for the entire chateau in here, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. Have you already so, said about the rug? I can't remember. Oh, the rug, yeah, yeah. The rug it was another brocante find, and probably one of my favourite rugs. I really love the colour of it. Um, it's not the biggest, but actually it works perfectly in here. So, again, really happy with that one. Yeah, I really like this room. Yeah. Oh, oh, your light as well. <gasps> Bo! Bo just come say hello. You probably can't see her down there. <laughs> oh, Bo, hello. What are you doing in here, doggy? <laughs> Do you remember this room? <laughs> Do you want to come out then? Off your pop. Bye-bye. <laughs> no, she's staying. So yeah, I really enjoyed doing this room actually. It was a quick, easy win once the wardrobes are out. Um, good transformation. It's nice to just have little victories as well because it's been quite hard work with the, the, the stable roof mm -hmm. and with the pool. And so to have sort of some real tangible progress is quite nice. and. Again, it sort of feels like we're putting our impression on the place, which just makes it feel more like home, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Also, for me, I'm normally, I'd say, 90% person who likes really dark and moody colours. Mm. So it's quite a novel for me to actually try and use quite a light colour. Are you coming and, round? And yeah. I am coming round. <laughs> I still prefer the dark colours, but it just works really well in here. It, yeah, it just depends what sort of room that you're using. and. I remember watching this um, this program about light at different times of the day, and I think that can be really instructive because um, often the rooms that get the light in the morning, you want to be sort of light, so that in the morning they kind of they glow, and then the rooms that you're in in the evening uh, are ones that you want to have a sort of dark and moody ones because um, those rooms you'll have to light up anyway, and you'll be sort of getting all cosy and snuggly mm. in the evening so I think kind of there's a way of having like one side of the house as lighter and one side of the house as darker that I think worked quite well um, but yeah no I love this room yeah it's got fond memories as well hasn't it yeah yeah right back from the very first days in the chateau anyway um, so going back to the kind of like steady stream of the more grueling videos <laughs> um, next week we'll be popping another video on the next stage of the roofing project where um, yeah, hopefully things get back on track. So if you're interested in catching up, do click subscribe down below. Um, and we're also going to be doing uh, what, what we call premieres or what YouTube calls premieres. So <clears throat> we'll schedule the video in advance so that you can put it in your diary 
and then we will make sure that we're online when the video actually goes live. And we can answer some questions and get to know everyone a bit. Yeah, it's just really nice, isn't it? It's, kind yeah. of, it's a good way to uh, to sort of engage with, with our viewers, which is really nice because sometimes it just feels like there's this big world out there and we've got people following. Um, but if you can't make the premiere, um, please do leave comments down below. Um, and yeah, check us out on Instagram too. Um, but yeah, see you at the next video and hope you can come along for one of the sort of the premieres and, and we can have a chat. Bye. 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 <laughs> I forgot to up. say bye. <laughs>